hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl lizzie if you're just tuning in for the first time please subscribe and share and for returning subscribers i really really love you all so much so i'm going to be showing you all how to tie this new trending gilly today i do hope that you love it if this video helps you in any way don't be shy to thumbs me up don't be shy to subscribe and share i love you all so much so the first thing i did was to fold the edges of my gilly and then i made about four four pleats before placing this ghillie on my head as you can see guys i got a new head today <laughs> so i'm just going to place these four pleats on my head when you do this just make sure that your pleats are well laid you have to trace your pleats down towards your neck area so, so that the ghillie actually comes out very beautiful and nice and you really have to take your time in doing this so that it comes out really nice so the rule for this particular ghillie today is 80-20. One hand of your ghillie has to really be longer than the other hand of your ghillie. So right now I'm just going to pl place the shorter hand of my ghillie on top while the longer hand of my ghillie comes underneath the shorter one. So I'm using uh, an ashoke today and it's a firm ashoke ghillie and it's really nice when you use this particular ghillie because it actually gives you that standing and sleek look that you want but if you use a softer one it won't, it won't come out really nice. So right now I've brought the two hands of my ghillie in front. If you're going to tie this ghillie for yourself, you have to make sure that you hold the shorter hand of your ghillie, which is the 20. You have to hold it with one hand. You can just place it underneath one hand while you go along with the longer hand of your ghillie. So I'm just going to make some pleats with the longer hand of my ghillie. My earring fell. If it's coming in your way, you just have to take it off. You have to take the second one off so that um, it doesn't stand in your way. right now is where i'm going to start making my fan you just have to take your time in doing this if you haven't watched my previous videos guys on how to tie gilly i do this fan gilly pleats a lot so you just have to um go and watch them so that you'll be able to know how to tie gilly for yourself it's very important and when it's fun you have to make sure that you make use of your both hands one hand of your gilly has to be picking the pleats while the other hand of your gilly has to hold the pleats down so that it doesn't unravel it's very important and this is very necessary for you to be able to get this particular standing sleek look that i'm making that i'm doing right now so right now i'm done with my pleats i'm done with my pleats all i'm going to do next is to make sure that i trace the pleats properly so that it actually stands well and nice and then the end of my um pleats i'm just going to make sure that i twist it take it towards the back and pin it it's not difficult at all this ghillie is one of the most simple ghillie that i know It's very important for you to know how to pin your ghillie from. I usually make use of these pins. I talk about them a lot because they help me a lot in tying my ghillie. They are 
actually called dressmaker pins because um dressmakers make use of them very well and they're actually longer than the normal office pins that um we use they're actually longer than that so when i'm tying gilly for myself i prefer to use those pins because they are, they make my gilly more secured so right now i'm just taking the 20 parts of my gilly i'm going to spread it take it towards the twisted part of my gilly place it on top and pin it this is not difficult at all so i'm just going to make sure that that part of my gilly is firm and it doesn't unravel maybe when i'm trying to dance or when i'm trying to carry out any activity for any occasion at during any occasion at all so right now it's just me adjusting my gilly to make sure that it's comfortable on my head and it's actually nice and beautiful so i love you all so much i do hope that this gilly tutorial was helpful if it was guys please don't feel to thumbs me up and don't feel to subscribe and share i really love it when you guys do that guys so please subscribe to my channel and don't feel to um tell me what you want for my next gilly tutorial it will really be welcome i love you all so much and i can't wait to see you all in my next video that is what the back of your gilly should look like right now i my hair is open so i can guys please <laughs> pardon me i don't know how to dance <laughs> i can't wait to see you all in my next video bye bye i love you all <laughs>